there, Lindsay here. Today I have a cleaning video for you. I've been remodeling my office space and the house has been neglected for two weeks total and it is a complete disaster. So I thought this might be something that you might enjoy because <laughs> we're gonna work on it today. We're gonna get it all cleaned up. I've got even a little bit of deep cleaning that I need to do because uh, the drywall dust despite my best efforts, is kind of on everything. So we're gonna give it a good dusting today. Today I will also be testing out the Red Key P9, their cordless vacuum cleaner. It's got four attachments and I'm really excited to try it out. They sent it to me and they told me to give my honest opinion. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first we're gonna clean a little bit in the living room and entryway area, starting with the windows. We're going top to bottom. These windows that we have luckily uh, pop out on the bottom. I do have to clean the, the top from the outside, but these pop in so I can clean three of the panes all from inside, so I really like that. These were all custom order, but um, they were super cheap because we actually have the window manufacturer like maybe 30, 45 minutes from our house. So we were lucky to get a big deal on the windows and it really helped out a lot. We are once again doing toy rotation for Colton. I keep all of his toys in here and the big kids toys somehow make it in here. I don't know how they do it because they have a whole room for their toys. But it seems like um, I'm kind of sorting these. It's been a few weeks since I sorted them so it's okay. It usually doesn't get this bad. It usually is pretty clean, but I also like to rotate toys. That way he doesn't get sick of them. There's a couple that are his favorites. Like he really likes the barn. Um, but yeah, I rotate everything else and just kind of give him something new to play with. You'll see in a little bit, it works. I put out a new Love Every puzzle and he was already on it. As soon as I put it down and put the pieces in, he was like, oh yeah, we're playing with this right now. So if the living room looks a little different, we did get a new couch. Now it's not new, it's new to us. It looks almost like our chair that we thrifted. This also came from a thrift store, but it looked brand new. I mean, brand new. It reclines on both sides and it is super, super duper comfortable. So we were really excited about that thrift find. We can spend all day this box here by the piano I actually came out of my car I just had all kinds of junk in there and I just took a box out with me pulled it all out and it sat there for a week so but when it was in my car it wasn't getting put up it helped out bringing it in and I had to stare at it you know you don't have to wake up Spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music. 
gone all the way, baritone. Shut the lights, go in for a ray. We can spend all day in. talk a little bit more about the red key p9 vacuum cleaner it was super easy to put together right out of the box it had two bars charged so i got to use it right away just to test it out it does come with four different brush heads and a mount that you can mount it to the wall with i'm really impressed with this mini power brush it's specifically designed to trap dog hair so if you're a pet lover out there this is supposed to do the trick here and you can use it as a handheld it even has a crevice tool so you can get under those baseboards now one of my favorite features is that it is one button touch you don't have to hold the button down for it to run you just touch it and it comes on it also has three different suction modes it's got an eco mode a mid and a max on the eco mode it has 60 minutes of runtime which is a lot for a cordless vacuum on the max mode it's 15 minutes but i like the mid mode and it's about 25 minutes of runtime which is enough to do quite a bit but on full eco mode i can do the entire house and vacuum it up just fine but you know i had extra so we really put this vacuum through the ringer here and i just figured i would show it to you and you could gauge it yourself because I had a ton of drywall dust and mud and dirt, especially under all these shoes. This is the place that gets the dirtiest in my house, hands down. So it did the job really well. Now I don't have baseboards yet um, and things kind of get stuck up under the break. Things get stuck up under the baseboards like dirt and, and dust and things, but um, I'm gonna use the crevice tool in a minute and, and it really got it, it got it good. So. I'm really impressed with how powerful the suction was, even on the eco and mid mode. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it also has a light on the front, which is really easy so you can see all the dust particles on the floor. So now it'll just be like longevity, how long it lasts. I hope it lasts a really long time because I really like it. I can't wait to mount it in my pantry once we figure out where everything's going in there. If you're interested in the Red Key Vac, I have a link to it down in the description below, and I also have a coupon code for you. This coupon code lasts until April 7th, and the coupon code is Lindsay P9, capital L, Lindsay P9. That'll get you a good deal on this vacuum. But now let's get back to cleaning. We've got all of our shoes lined up here, and everything looks nice, and we're on to the living room. Okay, so about this thrifted couch. When I got it home, I just, I always like to make sure I clean my thrifted furniture and things really well. So I always just clean with a little bit of vinegar and dish soap, all that stuff, but I didn't want to clean the leather with that. So I used saddle soap all over the entire couch. And then I clean, I did clean the plastic area with vinegar and dish soap and made sure that it was all good there and then I also got some essential oil and put it in some water and vinegar and spray and I sprayed that up underneath and on any of the cloth parts that wasn't leather and I conditioned the leather so that's why it's so shiny and nice right now it's because it just got a total overhaul and now it's like a brand new couch now the chair could use some work I probably should have went ahead and conditioned it at the same time and I need to repair my little kitty cat scratches now that she's no longer in the house so we don't have to worry about it I'm 
switching out the sheets today. I've got to take off my duvet cover and get that washed up. And it takes a couple hours for our washing machine to wash and dry. I did, if you were on my last video, uh, our washer like completely messed up and started leaking water and flooded half the house. <laughs> Just with like an inch or two, or like maybe an inch of water. So it wasn't like detrimental or anything. But we did get that fixed. It was like a $30 part and it took Jay five minutes to switch it out. So luckily that is no longer a problem. And it's also drying a lot faster now. So I see that there was something going on with it and now I know what to look out for. But now our loads can be done in like two hours or three hours instead of like all day long. So that's been a happy thing to happen lately. As I was sitting here doing my side table, I saw all of my hair ties on the floor. So I guess I just take them off at night. I need to be taking them off in the bathroom when I wash my face, but I always forget that they're in my hair until I get ready to lay down and go to sleep and then my ponytail's in my way. So I had like 50 hair ties I had to take back to the bathroom. <laughs> sheet stays on my sheets. I didn't used to, but um, when I had kids and we started bed sharing and stuff, I guess all the flipping and flopping, it really made the sheets start coming off the bed. So I have to now. Uh, Jay usually does it because I hate doing them, but uh, he wasn't, he was working. So I had to do it myself that day. But does anybody else use sheet stays? Are those like an old school thing or does, do people still use them? I think they're very, very, very extremely useful. I'm also gonna go ahead and make Colton's bed while we're here. Just go ahead and switch out his sheets. That way he's on the same schedule as us because his little tiny sheet is not much to wash. So it'll wash with our sheets. He's really enjoying his little bed. I usually like let him fall asleep on me and then I'll kind of roll him over. And he's been sleeping till about two or sometimes 4 a.m. which is really nice when he can sleep till four. Um, so it, it's nice to get that extra block of sleep there that I didn't used to get. And I'm just folding this little Grogu blanket so I can put it in the crack between both of the beds. There isn't much of one, but there's like a little piece of wood there. So I just wanna make sure if he rolls over or something, he doesn't hit his head on that. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back. All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake I always let you back in When I begin to get myself together I've got to wait for my cover to wash before I put it back on. So that's it. We got a raw sheet on the bed, but later on I'll put that other stuff back on and we'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna do two loads of laundry quick as lightning. 
I wish that it went this fast in real life because laundry is definitely not my favorite. But luckily I've got the kids to help me. They always take their clothing and put them in the drawers themselves. So that's one less thing I have to do. And then I'm doing it here in the office because mine and Jay's clothes are all in this dresser. Once we move over to our room, there'll be plenty of room in our room for our bed and our dresser. But right now we're using Ollie's room. So it's just a work in progress, the whole thing. And if you're new here and you're wondering what the heck's going on, me and my family built a metal building and then we converted it into a house. We actually had the building built and then we've done all the work inside. And we're kind of doing it as we can afford to finish it because we don't want a um, lifetime of debt just for a house. But I know that when we get done, it's gonna be so beautiful and we're gonna have all the things that we want and need in it. So. It was worth it to me to do it this way and we were previously living in a 600 square foot house. So we kind of outgrew that and needed more space. So we moved into it before we were done with it. And we've got a lot of remodeling and finishing left to do. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I would love to have you stick with us for our journey and go ahead and subscribe and maybe even hit that notification bell so you know when we post new videos just like this one and then even our remodeling, homesteading, cooking videos because we do a lot of stuff around here. heading into the kids room once again starting with the windows and then dusting this room got a lot of drywall dust I'm not really sure why but I'm not going to question it we're just gonna go ahead and clean it up and move on we do usually get dusty in general we have a uh, like kind of a rock quarry not too far and I think a lot of the dust from that kind of dissipates into the air and then goes into our homes <laughs> our neighbor complains about the same thing so it's just a really dusty area i also have dogs coming in and out i've got two i say little dogs but they're not little dogs they're 50 and well maybe 40 and 60 pounds so they're not little dogs they're little dogs for us because our um, livestock guardian dogs are over 100 pounds each so we say the little dogs but most people are like uh those are not little dogs especially the vet i'm like i need to bring the little dogs in but anyway we're just fixing up their closet here now i can't wait to get to where i can do the closet organizers in here i just haven't had the time yet i'm trying to finish all the drywall work in april i would love to be able to just do that and finish that so a lot of the carpentry work that i'm wanting to do is going to just have to come later because i don't really have time for that right now but i would like to do some uh, shelves in the bathroom and definitely some nice closet organizers for both the kids closets looking for someone who can play though wanna hang with me i'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me looking for someone not afraid of
think their little room's just so cute. It's gonna be different for them when they own, when they have to sleep in their own room. They haven't had to do that uh, ever. Never, they've never had to sleep alone. Um, but now we're just doing our final room for the day, which is our kitchen. And it did get a lot of dust too, just because it's so close to my office area. I can't wait to show you the office. I've been working on that video and we're still doing some finishing things. Uh, I even got a light fixture that came in today. So I'm excited to open that up and see what it looks like. It's very different. So I'm either gonna really love it or really hate it when it gets in. So you'll just have to see. <laughs> we'll just have to stick around and see. Also are like a lovely green color and then uh, Jay really spoiled me and finished out my windows for me the way I wanted them finished, even though they don't match out the rest of the house, they don't match completely, but he, I was like, does it really matter? If somebody comes in, they're gonna paint anyway and they can just paint, paint the window finishings too. So um, luckily I got what I wanted. And someone asked on my last video where our um, little cooktops were from and those are Ikea and they've lasted for years. One burner induction burners, um, they're like, when we bought them they were $35. I don't know how much they are now, <laughs> probably more. But they've just been excellent. So if you're somewhere and you don't have a stove or you just need an extra one, that would be a great inexpensive but like long lasting thing to get. I didn't realize how much stuff had accumulated on my kitchen countertops. It's kind of obvious to me that we need more storage in this kitchen, but there's nothing we can do about it right this minute. That is supposed to be, I think, the, probably June or July when we get to that, honestly. We kind of measured it out and we have, we just, we just have so much. We have so much to do and it takes me so long to do it because I'm the only one that can do the drywall. Jay is not skilled in it. I love the man, but he doesn't have the, the nurturing hand it takes to smooth out drywall. It's just not his thing. And that's okay because I have things that are not my thing. So we kind of balance each other out. But um, I do have the master bedroom left, the master closet left, and the master bathroom left. So we've got to do all that and then I want to circle back and give Ollie a really great bedroom for his birthday. His birthday's in July, the beginning of July. So I'm thinking June will probably be the month that I remodel his bedroom. And not really remodel, but like bring in things, make some cool stuff. He's wanting a Zelda Breath of the Wild themed bedroom, which I think is absolutely amazing. So I'm seeing like some uh, sewing projects, maybe making tree stumps out of um, fabric and felt and things, like rock pillows, like uh, some cool stuff. So um, I'm looking forward to doing something like that for him and making it really special because he's never, uh, he hasn't had his own bedroom since he can remember. <laughs> he was really, really little when we lived in Little Rock and had a big house and, and had a bedroom for him. So. I'm excited to give him something special, especially since he is turning 10. How do I have a kid that's 10? I feel like I, he was just born and now he's 10. It's crazy. So yeah, that's something, that's kind of the upcoming projects. We've got several things to do before we get there, but um, the kitchen is not high on the list and I'm okay with how it is right now because this is how I've really had it for the last six years. So it's not a huge pain point for me. It's a little annoying having things in bins and on shelves, but um, it's okay. It's okay for now and I can, I can deal with it until I can get in here and build cabinets. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. 
We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy Now I'm taking the Red Key vacuum and vacuuming up this huge space and this, keep in mind, this is only on a half of a battery because this was the battery straight out of the box so it may not even been like a full half i don't know but it did all of the vacuuming with two bars and i think i was on mid mode not eco modes about everything that was on our mind talking to you give me butterflies well your girl thought she was done with the kitchen and then i realized i needed to wipe down the dishwasher because it is absolutely disgusting but the house is a little cleaner now i really appreciate you sticking around to the end and even cleaning with me i feel a lot better i'm hoping that this gives you a little motivation to tackle your spaces today and don't forget about the red key p9 vacuum i'm going to leave the link and the coupon code down in the description box so you have plenty of time to go look at that if that's something you're interested in but i can't wait to chat with you in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye